Hey, welcome to Tea Time with Tillerson. Uh, today we are talking about how to measure scroll depth in Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager. Bit of a mouthful. Um, so what are we talking about? So first of all, we'll look at what is scroll depth? Um, why measure it? Why is this important? Why should you care? Um, what this is going to look like in Google Analytics? And then finally, I'll show you how to configure Google Tag Manager to measure scroll depth and fire a, a Google Analytics event. So let's start with um, what is scroll depth? So let's take a look at uh, a blog post. Um, now, effectively, you've all done this. Um, I'm going to scroll down the page and read this uh, blog post. There you go. There's uh, an earlier video um, about using Google Analytics campaign tags. So I'm scrolling through and um, what happens generally is without scroll depth, if I land on this page or I navigate my way to this page and I read this blog post, um, if I get to here and I go, oh, that's not for me and I leave the site, that's a bounce. Okay. If I sit and read this whole thing and I spend five or ten minutes on the website and then I leave, that's also a bounce. But clearly, if I've spent five minutes on the website or I've scrolled down the page and I've read this piece of content, that's a more valuable visit than someone who's landed, spent three seconds looking at a web page and deciding that it's not what they need and then leaving. Um, so one is much more valuable than the other. And that's what scroll depth um, allows us to do. So measure some behavior on the site that indicates that that visit was more valuable than uh, a visit where the scroll depth didn't go that far. So what does this look like in analytics? Uh, I'm going to show you in Google Tag Manager how to create this so you can see this kind of data. Um, but this broadly is what that looks like. So we've um, created an event label, uh, which is the percentage of scroll depth. And you can see how many users have scrolled to 50%, how many have scrolled to 75%, how many have scrolled to 90%. And this is all configured in the, uh, in the triggers and the tags in Google Tag Manager. So if you want to only track how many people have scrolled to 75%, then you can that's fine uh, or just how many people have scrolled to 90% again that's up to you that's within your configuration um, if you want to as well uh, so we've got this configured here just as a Google Analytics event and we can run reports on that we can look at whether the scroll depth um, is being met more frequently or less frequently we could look at individual blog posts um, uh, and measure performance improvements or if things are getting worse um, so that helps you really, uh, particularly with like blog content, for example, where the bounce rate uh, from social media in particular might be very high. So we want to know um, not just that people are reading it, but actually uh, are people genuinely bouncing or are they reading this and sticking around for a little while? Um, so not all bounces are equal and scroll depth gives you the opportunity to measure that. Um, so that's what this will um, look like uh, and you might have a particular blog post uh, that you want to promote, maybe you're paying to promote that and you want to see from different traffic sources how engaged the audience is. Scroll depth and the thresholds will enable you to um, measure Facebook traffic versus Twitter versus organic to see what the scroll depth is um, comparatively and, and how much uh, people are taking in, how much people are reading. So heading back to the blog post, I'm now using the Google Tag Manager preview to show you what's firing on this page. OK, so as I scroll down, you should find in this bottom part, these are the tags that are firing. OK, so there we go. Scroll depth event just fired. If we then continue, there's the scroll depth has now fired twice, so I've obviously got to 75%, and if I continue all the way to the bottom, there it's fired three times. So that's what's happening behind the scenes with Google Tag Manager. So how do we measure scroll depth using Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager? 
So I'm going to assume, uh, so this is just an empty uh, workspace, um, so I'm going to assume that you have already added your Google Analytics variable, which you'll need in your account. Um, so that literally is new, uh, create your Google Analytics uh, variable in here, and it will look a little bit like this. Um, and that's pretty simple. The next thing we need to do is add the variable for scroll depth. This won't work without it. So here's our th scroll depth threshold. So we need to enable that. And then the next thing we need to do is head to trigger, create a new trigger. Let's call it scroll depth. And then we can pick scroll depth. Here's our trigger type. We can fire it on all pages. You might want to put in um, page path contains blog. So it only runs on your blog pages, perhaps, or news pages or whatever. So you could filter that. Um, and then we want vertical scroll depth. And then in here, you put the percentages that you want to measure. So with our example, we did 50, 75, and 90. Equally, you could do just 75 uh, if you wanted to, or just 90, or whatever you, whatever you need. Um, and maybe you want to experiment a little bit with this. So we can save that trigger. Okay. And then the tag that we want to run is, let's call it scroll depth. Tag configuration will be universal analytics, most likely. And then we're going to fire an event. Let's call it scroll depth. I put the action as the URL path. Then I know which page this is happening on. Equally, you could put the page name uh, and so forth. But I put the page path. And then the label I put as scroll depth threshold percent. Um, if you don't put the percent, it will just appear as 50 or 75 or 90, um, but I like to put 50%, so you need to put the, the percent on the end. And then finally, we pick the Google Analytics ID uh, that you saw me set up earlier, um, and then add our trigger. Our trigger is going to be scroll depth, and I can save that. And that's pretty much it. Um, so just do a, a, a preview um, and make sure that that's um, triggering. And of course, make sure that um, you check your data over a few days and analytics doesn't look too messy. Um, but that is pretty much all you need to do to set up scroll depth tracking in Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager. Um, if you've enjoyed this show, uh, do subscribe and you'll get more tips on Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Google AdWords. Uh, social media, advertising, pay-per-click, SEO, all that kind of stuff. So subscribe and we'll see you for another cup of tea sometime.